How you doing there, folks? So this is a video I recorded about a month ago after I got out of the shower and getting into breath work and stuff like that. Had a lot of downloads and information come through and stuff I gathered from some podcasts and videos I've been watching about breath work. And I just kind of talk about the breath and the mind and consciousness and all that cool stuff. So enjoy it. Peace. And breathing, and breathing in, breathing out, it's just really the immediate quick fix to getting into your body. At least just a little bit more and getting out of your head just a little bit more. It's, it's just, it's the most fundamental and easy thing that you can do physically, in my opinion, to redirect to yourself as this is the life force that you're sucking in and exhaling and we people go their entire lives without experiencing gratitude for their breath i imagine <laughs> you know unless you're you have some kind of an accident where you're you're maybe drowning for a moment or you're you're just unable to breathe to get the wind knocked out of you some things happens where you then you have to experience oh this is what it's like to not have this and yeah, humans are the only beings that can do it consciously in that way. Conscious, connected breathing. It's most animals, it's just what's happened. Like, or I don't, I, mean, I don't know what fucking animals think about their breath, but we know that humans know the techniques to heal themselves and assist themselves. And it's been a lost art, or it's been a forgotten or deliberately pushed aside art. Because um, it's the first thing we do as babies. We <gasps> cry. And crying is the first language that we all possess as humans, as babies. It's the only way we can communicate, really. What we, what we need when we need something. And breathing uh, is the last thing we do when we leave our bodies. So it's important <laughs> and things get released and purged and let go of when we go into our subconscious mind through the breath. And I find with the thinking mind there is, it's just oftentimes just continuous looping of the same thoughts over and over and new thoughts come in and a lot of it's just nonsense jibber jabber that is unnecessary and uninteresting and repetitive and that's how most people live their lives in this state and they're relating to that as themselves and that's their reality when in reality the mental aspect of ourselves is maybe one percent if that of who we actually are and most of that who we are is something that is incomprehensible to our ego minds and so <laughs> getting caught up in that slavery and falling into these cages and traps in your own mind is how most people live and the easiest way out of that is <gasps> in <sighs> into the body out of the body <sighs> so having that awareness to go into that because emotions and our breathing are bi-directional and they influence each other so we can change the way we feel if we're anxious just <gasps> breathing into that a few times and you can relax and when you get super anxious super nervous super scared super whatever your breathing changes from that. If you're really angry and tight, you're holding on, you're not breathing well. Or if you're crying or you're really scared, <laughs> and if you're relaxed, so that's always important to know that you have that ability, that power. And it's the first place to start it's the for first place we all start, and it's the last place we all leave through our bodies, through the breath, or 
However, that the death experience happens. But as humans, we have this opportunity to do that with ourselves, and it's beautiful. And something Dan Brule mentioned in the podcast was on the breath cast. The thinking mind and breathing. So what breathing does, we take deeper breaths consciously. We're creating space in ourselves, literally. We're creating more space in our lungs. We're creating space between inhales and exhales. And what Dan was saying was in doing this, we are just conscious of our body. And being conscious of our body is just being more present and being more aware. And when we're more present and we're more aware, we're not in our mind so much. Because that's being in our mind is not being present with our body. It's being present with the conditioning, the consistent chatter, the internal dialogue that's always constantly running, basically. And in breathing, and really being, practicing that presence with our physicality, it can be a habit. And I, I'm often fi times finding myself aware that I'm not breathing. In very tiny moments sometimes, or more so thinking back on moments. I'm like, oh, I wasn't aware of my breathing because I got triggered or I, whatever, what have you. There's an emotional response that distracted me from that. And literally every single moment, millisecond is an opportunity to just take a deep or take a conscious breath. And it's like, how much more fundamental can you get? It's more important than drinking water, than sleep, than food, than anything. If you're not breathing, you can't live. And it's, I think it's the thing that you can go the least amount of time with. I don't think there's anything else that's more vital to our life force energy. It's literally connecting with source energy every single inhale and exhale. And each breath is an opportunity to learn something and take something in. And each exhale is an opportunity to let go of something you're holding on to or to offer something to somebody else. When exhale, we're giving to people. And in breathing in, holding and just holding that energy, being with it and sitting with it and feeling yourself more full with whatever you've inhaled and then holding at the bottom and trusting and having that faith that it's going to come back. The breath is going to renew itself and it, it always does until we die. So yeah, I just thought that I had a good collection of thoughts and things that connected from all the stuff I've been learning about and it's just beautiful to relay that in the shower and to relay it to you all now here and i made myself a tasty evening beverage which i'll share with you all as i heat up water and i pour it over some apple cider vinegar and tonight i put some ginger and olive oil in there to stimulate my digestive system and lubricate the glands and to even out my body in certain ways so i'm going to enjoy it hope you like this video give it a like care share comment subscribe delete information that is not serving you from your mind if you're able to do that well done <laughs> much love everybody peace <laughs>